Deal or no deal, where dreams and nightmares come true in equal measure at ten past four, right after Countdown. Countdown is sponsored by I Believe Gel, pain relief you can count on. Good afternoon to you. Christmas done and dusted, and here we are with a brand new series of Countdown. Welcome back, Rachel. Thank Happy you, 2010. Jeff. Yeah, you too. You made any resolutions? No, I don't bother. You're only going to break them anyway. Hmm. Didn't make any. All right, okay. Well, my resolution is to be kind to you. Oh, that's nice. Especially today, because it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Rachel. Thank you very much. Go on then. Make me feel really old. Oh, I'm How feeling old. old. I'm 24. 24. Oh, <laughs> yeah. over the hill is the phrase that comes to mind. I'm kind of not early 20s, kind of getting into mid 20s now, mm. so feeling a bit old today. In honour of this special day, countdown up. Bill Rob from Dunfermline has made you this name chart, and it has everything from your star sign, your planet, your name origin. You're in good company as well because Bill's done the same thing for the Queen and Bill Clinton. Anyway, on yours, oh, Bill yeah. writes this. He says, showy, extroverted types do not impress as you have the highest of ideals. Some can underestimate you, but you have tremendous concentration, which can amount to genius at times. Woo! Ooh, awesome. Get a load of that. Tenor in the post for that one. Yeah. Thank you. You keep your head out of the clouds. Not a problem that I usually have. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, I've got a fact here that means nobody will ever underestimate you again, Rachel. We've analysed the entire uh, last series, and of all the maths rounds that were possible, your success rate was an amazing 94%. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> I'm a genius. Let's meet the contestants today. And in the champion's chair is the winner of the last heat game, in the last series, last year. And it's a pleasure and very appropriate for the first show in January, we have Jan Parker as our champion. Jan's from Loughton in Essex. She has a second home on the glorious Gold Coast in Australia. And I suppose, Jan, you, you fly off there for the winter, do you? Uh, I should be. <laughs> mm, yeah. We, we couldn't let you go, though. We couldn't let you go without you returning to Countdown. Professional singer, Jan, she's performed all around the world. Well, the best of luck today. Up against you, your challenger is Robert Kennedy, who joins us from Coldstream in Berwickshire. Uh, Robert's a keen car booter and antique collector, and a big fan of Leonard Cohen, who he said he would love to meet. Uh, but Robert, looking at your physique and coming from Coldstream, do I detect a Coldstream guardsman there? You do indeed, Jeff. You're very astute. Mm. Very astute. Yes, Coldstream guards, 1971. I joined up in Coldstream itself. I had the honour actually being the first in about 312 years to actually be from Coldstream and list into the Coldstream Guards and sign on outside the original headquarters, mm. which was a great honour. Okay. Our challenger then today is Robert Kennedy and the champion returning today is Jan Parker. <laughs> Talking of percentages as we were earlier on. In Dictionary Corner, as ever, a lady who knows 100% of the words in the Oxford English Dictionary, Susie Dent. And one of Britain's best-loved actors. He's played everyone from Hoppy Hopwood in Grange Hill to Richard Hillman in Corrie. It's Brian Capron. <laughs> Brian, did you know that a couple of months ago Richard Hillman was voted as one of the top ten soap villains of all time? No, that's great. Lovely. Yeah. Is this more fun playing baddies? 
I think so, because you get to do all the things that when you're a kid, you know, like you, you kind of imagine yourself going around, you know, with an axe and murdering people. <laughs> <and things laughs> like that. What sort of childhood did you have? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And cops and robbers and all that kind of thing. So it's, uh, it, it's kind of fun to do all that stuff, you know. So I, I, I absolutely loved it. It was a great time. Well, great to have you back this week, Brian. Uh, here's our first round of the first show of a brand new series, and Jan, as defending champion, it's your pick of the letters. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Jan. Well, happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll have a consonant, please. Thank you. Start the year with R. And another. L. And another. X. And a vowel, please. A. And another. E. And another. I. And a consonant, please. P. And another. L. And another. And a final N. And for the first time in this series, here's the countdown clock. Robert, what have you got? Uh, seven. And Jan? Seven. OK, what's yours, Jan? Explain. And Robert? It's actually the same word. Explain. <laughs> seven points apiece, then. Um, and yeah. it's a nice, friendly collection to get us underway, isn't it, Brian and Susie? A few words around there. Yeah, we had explain, but we had another seven. Pra praline. Praline. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jan's on the scoreboard, so is Robert. Seven points, please, after our opening round. Well done to them. Robert, it's your pick of letters. Uh, good afternoon, Rachel. Afternoon, Robert. And happy birthday. Thank you very much. Can I have a consonant, please? You can, thank you. F. Uh, vowel. O. Consonant. Q. Consonant. V. Can I have a vowel? U. Another vowel? E. Consonant? D. Another consonant? R. And a final vowel. And a final U. And your 30 seconds starts now. Jan, how many? Only six. And Robert? Only a five. OK, what's the five, Robert? Roved. And the six, Jan? Devour. Devour for six. Yes, mm. excellent. Yep. Couldn't see anything else no. at all. OK. Jan, your choice of letters. A consonant, please. Thank you, Jan. L. Um, and another. Another L. And another. N. And a vowel, please. O. And another. A. And another. I. And a vowel. Yes, another vowel, please. Another O. And a consonant, please. C. Final consonant, please. And a final P. Time starts now. <laughs> 